Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Saad. Today I am going to continue the third chapter that is the in the cave of Hira from the life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam lived in Mecca with his wife Khadija. He was a good and honest man. People called him Al Amin. which means the trustworthy one he was a very honest merchant like other merchant of mecca he traveled far and wide he went even as far as syria with the caravans on his travels he crossed the scorching deserts he climbed barren hills he saw beautiful green fields and orchards he looked at the clear blue sky in the daytime and he gazed at the star and the moon at night and he thought allah has made a beautiful world sometimes muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam left his friends and family he traveled to empty spots around makka he sat alone and looked around he looked at the hills and the valleys he looked at the trees and the flowers and he asked himself how can we know the lord or the world what should we do to make him pleased with us how was the world made where do people come from and where do they go after death there was a hill side near makka in which there was a cave called the cave of hira every year in the month of ramzan prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam went to the cave he spent the whole month thinking and praying allah made him love saluted so that he liked nothing better than to be alone in the year 6 Hundred and ten, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was forty years old. As usual, the year also he went to the cave of Hira to spend Ramzan. At night, while the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sitting, the angel Jibril alaihi salam came to him. He said, "Recite." Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked, "What should I recite?" Jibril again said, "Recite." The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam again refused. He did not know that he should recite. Jibril said, "Recite in the name of your Lord who created created man from clots of blood." Recite, "Your Lord is the most bountiful one, who by the pen taught man what he did not know." The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam then recited the words. Then Jibril left him. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was again alone. He felt the words he had just recited were written down in his heart. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam began shaking with fear. He started to walk down the mountain. Then he heard a voice again, Muhammad You are the messenger of Allah and I am Jibril. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam looked up. It was the same man he had seen in the cave. It was not really a man, but the angel. This was the first revelation made to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Jibril taught him the first verses of the Quran. The word entered the Prophet Muhammad's heart. and he become the messenger of allah thank you allah is